Yeah. What up, everybody? Yeah. What up, everybody? Yeah. It's Olympian. Yeah. Ah. Let's go, Zito. Uh. Yeah, hold on. I said, catch it, catch it. Pacific Ocean, yeah. overlooking with some big emotions. Ooh. Shorty skin look like almond butter mixed with lotion. Ooh. When she smiled, the way she grinned, got me really open. Oh. Jet ski and Pacific smoking. We really talking. Stop, 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 stop. You trying to do? <laughs> you trying to do? Boy got bone. God damn. <laughs> Cut it off. This <laughs> nigga think this is. I thought we was in Rap City. No, nigga. You no, know it's back. It is. <laughs> God, you ain't about to decide. <laughs> is she still in his mama no, basement no. or? That one, that nah, one, I think it's bigger now. Kelly's it's basement. elevated. Oh, nigga, this hey, boy. welcome back. This is another episode of Cutting Weight with Malik D and Jamar Neighbors. Yo, hood Al Heyman mm. with a hood yeah. Al Heyman, man, making matches, man, never getting any scratches. But look, we are joined, we are accompanied by, the, we got like some big stars on the set right now. Mm. Okay, I don't know who to introduce first, but I'm going to introduce my guy to my left. Okay, you might have seen him in the new hit series, BMF, you know, BMF's own stars. You might have seen him on the new Purge, the all black Purge. When he, he, that, was the, that was the most important one to, my, to me. And then the th you might have seen him in Burning Sands with a movie with me. He's been all over the screen. You mean BET Tales, everything. Man, my guy, my brother, Christian Zito Robinson, everybody. Man, we'll talk to you in a minute because I ain't like how your last episode. Uh, <laughs> to my right, I know this guy for years. Like he saw me as a young cat. Okay, he's a former Olympian. All right, the boy had 41 fights. He's 36 and four. Honestly, that four should have been like it should be 37 and three because I feel like he won against Boo Boo. All right, Andrade, Demetrius Andrade. He took him 12, and I feel like he I mean, and he knocked him down. Okay, I, I helped you get ready for that fight, right? You remember yeah. that? That was hey, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Cool. But this this is how nice this guy has been. Always sweet. I mean, his his listen, a family man. This guy is a hard hitter. Vines, baby, let's give him a yeah. Vines. Goddamn motherfucker, right? Man, thank y'all for coming to the trap. I mean, uh, the enterprise, I should say. Empire. The empire. All right, enterprise, empire, whatever you want to look. We we doing it, bro. We in the a ring. The, the <clears throat> Carter. The Carter. You're taking over the Carter. Oh, did you just Lil Wayne me? I'm Nino Brown. Okay, say that. Without man. the snitch. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. Well, brother, brother, you acting kind of hard, because we, we all I'm saw not, the episode. Sure. We all saw the episode. What episode? <laughs> oh, BMF. Oh. <laughs> what happened in the episode? Man, what brother, they, they got my man. I was about to fight the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's get, get off me. You know what I mean? How you be? I was I was in the crib watching that episode and throwing like Trey Boys in the hood punches. Get off! Get off my nigga! Let him go! Get off the belt, man! Choked him, man. I was I was so mad. You got bro. choked out. So got choked bad. out, bro. I mean, it's acting. You know, one of the first things we're taught in acting class is to never judge the character, right? So I would have been doing a huge disservice to myself to the cast, to the crew, to all the viewers, to you. We wouldn't be talking about this if I didn't make that decision to do it. You know, I don't always have to agree with everything that the character has to do, but as a performance, as an artist, as a creative, you can't judge the character, you have to be creative. And every story has an arc. So you'll, as it rises and it gets to that point, a very pivotal moment, you'll see what's about to happen next. You know? So it's, a, it's an amazing water cooler conversation. You know? Hey, as a, why are you talking to us like you about to fuck? Nah, not at all, bro. This, <laughs> that is, boys, this is my podcast voice. Yeah, bro, hold on, bro. I know this dude. I know this, this dude, bro. All right, voice. my bad. I didn't know. Go ahead, yeah, man. This is my guy. Hey, hey, have you ever just got choked out in real life, though? Never. Not once. Oh. Yeah. Tell oh, your story, yeah. brother. I feel like something coming behind that. Man, I was in a foster home, right? And this nigga named Cordero Carruthers uh -huh. choked me out. Did you, did you get snuck or was it eye to eye? I was being annoying, nigga. Okay. Like, for real. I was up there like, I, I miss my mama. I miss my mama. I miss my mama. I miss my mama. And that nigga just choked me the fuck out, nigga, until I fell asleep. And right as I was about to go to sleep, I was like, thank you. <laughs> and you know so mad, you know so funny. This is if you choke me out, don't lay me down. <laughs> don't lay me down. I'm not no goddamn bitch. Don't put me to sleep. He can't Honey. tuck you in. No, no, hell, don't tuck me in. Cause it's in front of my girl? No, please. I saw a dude get choked out in front of his girl what? on Venice Beach when, Boardwalk. When when is this coming up? This uh, episode. You uh, have a tentative release date? Uh nah, why? I was asking because I would I would like basically it's up in the show. Keep watching, it's up. 
Like, oh, you getting upset right now? No, no, not even a little oh, bit. Okay. No, it's, come on, bro. Oh, no. no, I'm just saying it's up. Like, oh. but I don't know. Depending on when this comes out, I can't say certain things. Oh, nah, bro. Yeah, just man. keep it. Just keep it to like. Just say it's episode five. Just, just, just watch keep the it. Show. Just keep. Just watch, just watch the, show. the show. Don't know. It's no breaking news unless you want to break it. Nah, I mean, hell no. <laughs> you ain't get, you ain't get <laughs> me kicked off the show. <laughs> you wanna break it? I don't know. I want to see my guy in season no. two, bro. Nah. Oh yeah, I'm definitely in season yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, bro. Now you ever choke somebody out? Nah, man. Nah, like, not even just, a Kurt Franklin stuff? Nah, just... Just all pure hands. That's right. <laughs> Did you ever... Fight? Now, look, now, you got hands, and a lot of people don't really, like, look at it because you look like a mob boss. Now, now, when, when, when you throw hands, bro, do you throw it in and outside the ring? Or you just keep it, like, mental? Like, man, don't go on about your business. No, nah, it can't, man. Outside the ring, there's been some street fights, you know what I mean? But, you know, I try to hold back, try to stay away from that. You know mm. what I mean? It's prof- you know, on the job is different, you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as you're getting paid. You know mm-hmm. I mean? Talk that talk, brother. It's different, yeah. Do you do you like the boxing game and where it is right now? I mean, Al Heyman came in, bro. I'm not going to lie. He changed the whole game for everybody, man. Fighters, you know, making good money. You know, before that, we were not making good money, man. When I was with um, Bob Arum, you know, the numbers were different, you know what I mean? When yeah. we got with Al Heyman, a couple of zeros came out. A you know couple I mean? of zeros, yeah. Yeah, man, so. That's I good. Made, yeah, it was, it was good, good, good. He's a good person for boxing, man. He changed the whole world, you know what I mean? He changed the whole game. I remember uh, 50 Cent had his promotional company, uh, SMS Audio. Remember that? And he signed, oh, he signed Gamboa. He signed Gamboa and the RP to Om- Omar Henry. And that shit lasted for like two seasons of power. Now, what, what, is, what is 50 Cent like on set? Do he throw hands? Or what is he like? 50 was actually a really cool guy, man. Like, genuinely, he... Uh... He's very knowledgeable, he's very creative, and he's personable. Like he's with, with his cast and his crew. Mm-hmm. So like that's that's what I have to say about Fifth, like one hundred percent. Like what 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 exactly did you want to know about him? Like I don't like what what type of question are you asking exactly? Well, what cause wasn't he he was like a I know he was like a Golden Glove champion at a point in time, and then, so his online persona, I mean, I, I know I know that he's a nice guy and stuff like that, but I I just am like, man, wasn't he like a um Funny like a Golden Glove champion and all that shit. Like, like, what, like, what's he like? Like, is he like aggressive? Like, just we just want to yeah, because 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 yeah, you're experienced. Because it was basic. Uh, Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. Curtis Golden Jackson. Champion at Golden Glove. Yeah. Yep. And and what well, what well, 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 It was what he said. Is no knowledge of that. I don't know. But uh, he said he it was he was a Golden Glove champion. I know he's really big in boxing, bro. Like he loves like before when he was like close with Floyd. You know, and then he got with Gumbo, you know, he was he was in the Floyd camp and then they fell off, but, but I know he's big in boxing. He loves boxing. Even today, yeah. he's always commenting on boxing fights when they're going on. Yeah, he's but big with boxing, that's for sure. No, we was just saying because I, I like what Jamar was basically asking from 50 Cent, and like from the online presence, you'd think he's an asshole. He trolls everyone, talks shit, doesn't care, a jackass and stuff like that. But to but you know him, he was close with me. He directed an episode with you. And you kind of like got the vibe and feel. So that's what the question was. No, nah, like like I say, he's real personal. He's real creative. He's he's cool. He he's, he likes to laugh. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, one thing I'll share is we had a, a really amazing conversation in the gym. I was in the gym working out in this hotel we were staying at. He just happened to walk in, and we just wound up kicking it. And we had a real like, and the conversation went from real estate to entertainment to attorneys to business and it was just like it was like a two hour master class in front of your in front of your face you know mm-hmm. what I mean so it was like very insightful it was it was all around dope like that's my take on it mm-hmm. you're an actor right you've been yeah. acting for how long since 2014 since 2014 how do you approach like different roles like how do you like take people like to the cast and and <clears throat> the whole behind the scenes of how you book a role to the way cutters and babies who potentially want to be an act, inspiring actor. So are you saying what do I do or what yeah. do I suggest people who are just starting to act? No, nah, let's just take us to like yo Christian Robinson, a role like what, how do you approach a role? How do you set up? Like tell us everything about well, that. Well, I read the and the, I, I'm not. It's just not for them. It's for me because I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting booked. Because <laughs> you up here talking shit about mad people and they see it. <laughs> Like, Trying to yeah. figure out what the they're hell. Like, so let me just. They're like, we not fucking with Mallory. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Hold on now, so... brother. Brother, they. We have him on this podcast. Let's talk nah, about it. Nah, nah so, 
I mean, basically, if I'm fortunate enough to get the script for a project, I'll, I'll read the entire script just to see, you know, what this character is about, the arc of the project, etc. But nine times out of ten, you'll get something called sides, which is a portion of the script that's solely rated, related to your character. It's about, it could be anywhere from one to five scenes. And you audition with those. So I'll see what this character wants and that I'll read it time and time and time again. I'll read it out loud. I'll walk on the park with it. I'll go sit on the beach with it. I'll read it with some uh, trusted actor colleagues of mine just to like see if they see something in it that I don't see in it, right? And once I carve out the many different ways of how this character can be approached, I'll either make a decision on one or I'll play it a, a couple different ways. And, you know... When you know it, you know it. Like you feel it in your heart. Just like like if you like you made a decision to move to LA one day, just like I did. Or you might make a decision with the young lady in your life. Or it's just like with the characters, the same thing. It's like when you know that this is the bullseye of what this character represents, you execute. So that's what I do. Like I'll I'll paint a bunch of different pictures with it. Like, because you should see it from every different angle. Cause the people behind the camera, behind the table with these eyeballs are deciding which character fits best for, for, excuse me, which actor fits best for this character. So you want to try to paint out as many different pictures as you see and then align that with your heart and what your character relates to with what you're feeling in your heart and make that decision. And that's a whole hour-long interview in itself, but that's the super-duper microwave version of how I approach. Yeah. And now do you get it, Malik? Well, how do you approach uh, just like that, similar? Because you booking. What do you do? Nigga, I, I, get, <laughs> I get some sides, I read that shit, and I be there like, all right, I'm going to just be... I'm gonna just Jamar this as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and that's why I'm always, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. but that's that's dope, because that's, that's a whole nother perspective, yeah. especially from, from a comedic aspect. Like, yeah. for that, you, you're much freer in your approach. Yeah. Whereas for a dramatic role, you might have to be precise. Or, or even, I mean? a, yeah, or even a dramatic role, I mean, even a dramatic role, it's like uh, I can jamar it up as much as possible, and it don't gotta be funny. Just who am I dramatically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who am I? And I'll just be like, I gotta do this as me as much as possible, or this shit ain't gonna work. Right. But I do, like I do the, I do the mechanics. I'll be like, oh, okay, I see. Okay, okay, he wants this, he wants this, he wants this. All right, how would Jamar yeah. do this? That's whatever. dope. Yeah. Cause even the writer will tell you what they want. Mm -hmm. And if you read it enough, you'll be like, this is the picture that they're painting. Yeah, yeah. But even that, like that'll work for you, like. Any celebrity, for let's let's take a celebrity that's not an actor. They'll hire that celebrity to be themselves in this role, yeah. and sometimes that works, uh -huh. you know. But sometimes they want you'll see some of your favorite actors transform out of who they are in an interview setting or a conversational setting into some brilliant art from artwork and an art form. And you're like, who is that? Because that's yeah. not the person I was just yeah. having. That's, a conversation how, that's how I with. feel about Ludacris. Yeah. <laughs> I know that ain't the most <laughs> act a fool. I'm not, I'm not. Stand up. I know that's the most. Nah, but Luda's dope. Luda yeah. does really good work yeah. in his acting. Like. Shout out to Luda. We love Luda. Can I ask you this? Go how, how much acting is involved? I know it's real, but how much acting is involved in boxing? Uh, in boxing? Yeah. Oh, you talking about like, you know, people like. Like, uh, a, like, like, you like know, a flop? Like, like, oh, like if you take a dive? Like acting like uh, like how much of the oh shit I know exactly what you're talking about Vine ass. let's let's just, uh, let's go to you on this one let's say let's say someone get hit behind the head and it didn't hurt as much but he wanted the ref to see it now he's you on know the little shit acting. like that you know, huh? soccer shit you know yeah exactly. yeah, yeah yeah like a flop yeah, yeah yeah when you see the guys do that does that annoy you of course it does but. How much acting is that involved? Into Depends that? on the fight and how big the fight is. You know, if you're in a big fight, you want to get as much points as possible. You know what I mean? As much warning as possible. And them shots hurt, man. As you know, man. The rabbit punches. Yeah. Shit, they hurt, especially pro. You know, from the yeah. pro, those those little gloves, man. They hurt really bad. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean. So sometimes Legal. these guys are not acting, but when they oversell it, like a, how, how they kick their feet, oh, like yeah. they're swimming and stuff like that. Andre Durrell. Andre Durrell. Well, I didn't want to say his yeah, name. I'm glad yeah, you did. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, same thing happened to me in the Glovekin fight when I took a knee and he hit me in the back of the head. So you know what I mean. I could have done the same thing. Don King was trying to like pull some shit. You oh know what shit! Mean? But I, I forgot but, about but, that. Fight. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, nah, man. Nah, it was, it was uh, you know what I mean. It so when you it. in the Glovekin fight, yo, you um, you did get hit uh, down where you were down. I was going down and then 
Yeah. Cause my knee hit the ground. He hit me in the, if you watch the fight again. Yeah. yeah, and they, they didn't take a point because he nah. was the favorite. I mean, no, nah, it's not that. I mean, I could have grabbed the back of the head and acted or some somewhat. And then I remember Don King coming to the locker room and saying, you know what I mean? We're gonna protest. Or the, and I was like, nah, nah, it's cool. Nah, I take the loss like a man. You know what I mean? That's real head. stand up, and that, we need like guys like yeah. that in boxing. But also, I do appreciate the soap opera as well. Yeah. Because that give me a time to like, damn, I've been waiting to pee. Let me just go ahead and just go take this little piss. <laughs> now, Jamar here, a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, he went to the top 100 Ebony like party. He didn't okay. invite me and he told, he saw Karuchi and he didn't even like introduce me or just like, hey bro, FaceTime me like Karuchi or nothing. That's your, that's your woman crush every day? No, I wouldn't, no, so, not, I don't have a crush on anyone. I'm just saying like, yo, I, I just want to be like, you know, like, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm aware of Malik B. You know, he could have did that. He had an opportunity, but he didn't. Okay. Right? So, when you go to these parties, right, how would you, <laughs> how would you hook him up with the <laughs> like, Nah, nah. How do you, like, make sure you stay at the core and be a true friend and also navigate and uh, just, like, be yourself? You know how many friends I got, nigga? <laughs> There's a lot. When Damon did, who told me how come they didn't fucking face, how come I didn't Facetime? Uh, how many, Jamal? How many? Nigga, like three. And, and, and so I'm number three. What number am I on that ranking that you should have Facetime? If you if you knew, I looked at it. I saw Karuchi, Karuchi, and I was like, wow, oh, these niggas. So, so you just, you I'm just trying to put all y'all in the same like, <laughs> like should have been there. Type. <laughs> what the fuck? He hit you with the sucks to be you. Yeah, yeah, like my nigga. I, 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 I didn't get no. I didn't get nowhere with her, nigga. I only. I didn't even see her. No. Cause she didn't see me. <laughs> God damn, she could be she right here. She didn't see me cause she didn't see you. Yes, that's basically what I'm trying to tell you right now. If she, if you'd have hit me like, oh, bro, the energy and the, would attract you to her on Facetime, like, hey, bro, I'm with Karuchi. Her yeah. Boxing groupies. Like acting, you know, they got, they got stand, we got stand up groupies, nigga. We yeah. got like, like, are there bitches that just hang out at fights and shit, like, well, hoping to get like a champion or like a, or like a, a boxer or some shit? shit. Yeah. 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 After, after I fight Charlo, I'll tell you, dog, after Charlo, I were in the elevator and I was getting out. My wife was behind me, so I got out first. And then the ring girl came and got me, hey, good fight. And then I said, my wife, she's on my room. Oh, shit, she's on my hand. Oh, no, yeah, shit. Bro. So ring girls are basically the oh, Ring girls, for sure, yeah. Oh, those are, oh, so those are like the, like the chapel fathers of like the... Yeah, the boxing. Oh, okay. Nigga, them hoes be looking entertainable. Like, like, uh, what she doing? Like, 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 all she do is hold the cars. I didn't know that she was giving it up, too. Yeah. No, it depends on the girl, though, bro. Not every girl's like that, but, you know, but... Yeah, somewhere. Uh, if you hey. go back in time and fight any fighter, nigga, who would it be? Like, y'all always want your name. Damn, that's a Again, great or, or Again, or... <laughs> sure. That's a great question. Get a rematch with Charlo. Yeah. I feel like I won that fight. I took it on two week notice. Like, two and a half week notice for that fight. Yeah, and that and shit was fight. close as fuck, yeah. too. Yeah, I thought that's... I won, yeah. That's when he had the dreads. What's that? That's yeah, when he had, had the dreads. The dreads. Charlo yeah. had yeah. the dreads, too, yeah. yeah. I thought you beat Andretti. I swear to God. Knocked him down. Yeah, if you knock him down, and that's the first time he ever got knocked down. And if you knock him down, and then the fight, the fight is still close and shit. Yeah. It's like he, it should go your way. Going into the last round, it was close. It was, it was tied. It was a draw going into the twelfth round. So whoever took the last round, and they gave it to him by a split decision. It was a good fight, man. I don't know how that fight, man. I don't know how the first round after the knockdown. I don't know how, what, what happened. Dude. My, my mind just fucking stopped working, dude. Just. I, I don't know if you remember this, but so you had me as the main sparring partner for yeah. that fight. And I remember I was telling you, I was like, bro, oh, you're going to beat the shit out of him because you were looking great in camp. Yeah. And he was like, you had a great camp. He was cool. And I remember you were studying. You was working on a specific punch, the straight right, left hook, to yeah. push him back because you was like, I'm going to push him back. I'm going to push yeah. him back. And you did that fight. Do you think that, like, when you say you go into that 12th round, you don't know what happened, did you, like, yo, know, you didn't believe in the game plan after that? Or it was just like, you don't... No, I just... just from after the knockdown, bro, I dropped them. Just my mind just switched. I, I don't even know how. All of a sudden, it was just the twelfth round, bro. You just everything just, you just, just, just fucking yeah. just passed, bro. So you was going just through the blacked motion. out for like for like eleven rounds, maybe, bro. I don't know what the hell happened. Then I just woke up. It's like, dude, you gotta get into this shit, bro. Was it's it the, the water round. in the corner you was drinking? No, I don't know. Not the water. <laughs> not, not the water. <laughs> Did you mean you was sleeping? It's not. Not. Never that drink just, I mixed. <laughs> Mentally, dog, just mentally not there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just mentally somewhere else, you know what I mean? But yeah. Damn, man. Zito, you been in, in a couple of fights? 
My younger years, I haven't had a fight in the longest time, bro. Grown ass man. Yeah, I know. You watch boxing at all? I, I'm not gonna lie. I watch the big fights. Like I watch, you know, main event, mainstream, party fight, pull up type of thing. But to say I'm an extreme fan of the sport, I be both ways lying up there. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you know, our guy uh, Trevante is playing Tyson, Mike Tyson. I do. How you feel about that? I hope he kills it. Well, who would you play? Like, if you had to play a boxer, like, y'all, damn, nigga, I think I can get that. Christian got hands. I trained him. Yeah, this is my boxing trainer, everybody. He getting me, he he getting me that. early. Nigga, she can fight too. Nah, bro, I ain't coming for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight. Yeah, bro. Hey, you ever, ever fought pro? Yeah. You did, right? Huh? Yeah. Shit, I, was, I wasn't a good pro fighter. I was just more so in the... I didn't, I, I didn't take it, see, huh? That's some shit. Fought, bro. Bro. No, I said, I know you fought pro. Oh, you know I fought pro? Bro, yeah, I fought I pro. I would just like, announce you, fight, you my man. trainer and then you gonna say you're not a good pro yeah. fighter. You got me looking crazy right now, bro. Oh, bro, 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 they couldn't hear you with that like, <laughs> fucking soft tone. This is my right podcast now. voice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God damn, bro, I don't yeah. know who this is, but like, last You said you didn't take it serious? Nah, I, I, nah, I just mentally, I wasn't, it was more so, because you always had my father in the corner and, um, not in the corner, but like always with me. And I just like, it was just the fact that like, even if I take this fight, I'm like, I'm, I'm good either way. It wasn't life or death with me. You see what I'm saying? As opposed to other, cause I go in the gym, I, I be, uh, I be, I beat ass. But How old were you when you started? My first, when yeah, I first started yeah, boxing, yeah. bro, I was like 10 years old, nine years old. Oh, okay. And then um, when we met, I was like going through wild card and then I left That's wild card. Yeah, yeah I, I was, tell them about how I was running through wild card. Wild card was good, yeah. <laughs> bro, then I went to Floyd's and yeah. then uh, that's when I was like, oh, Okay, and I was already was pro, and then uh, I went to Floyd's, and I was like, man, I just started dominating in that gym. So I was like, I'm gonna start boxing again. And once I started boxing, I was uh, I was out here. I had a fight out here against this like Ukraine. You're Matt. He's trained at Wild Card. You're, okay. you're Matt. I don't know if you remember him. Beat his ass. Yeah, who? You're Matt. You're Matt. You're Matt. Yeah. And then when the fight after I got hurt and turned my, yeah. cracked my uh, leg in Floyd Mayweather's gym, tore that shit, and I was like, man, the Creed came about. So yeah, damn. What's going on? You know what? It should be a movie, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about? thinking about your leg, and oh. I'm just like, damn, because that's just small. If you ever see that nigga leg, oh, <laughs> like, what, what the fuck, bro? That's, I just had that was a triumph story, and it's all you. And damn, I can think about my man. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look sw- at his leg. Yeah. <laughs> So you said when it cracked, it looked like a pencil that's just about to break. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't do that, man. Well, no, this candy sh- cane, nigga. <laughs> Come on, you ever see uh, you ever see scary movies uh, part one? Yeah. When they mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, here comes the killer. I guess I'm supposed to run and crack my leg. <laughs> oh, you yeah, remember that yeah, scene? Go angry. back, look at that. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 I went to this nigga, uh, I went, I think I came back from like New York and I was like, all right, I'm about to get back in the gym. So I'm gonna go train with Vana and some shit. And uh, so we went, to, we went to like some gym in like East LA. Nigga, I didn't know like, I didn't know like these pros and shit, right? Like, uh, I guess. I'm oh, like, yeah, you get Yeah, I didn't know like these pros, right? I'm a comic. You know, I always be like, nigga, I'm a comic I'm coming in here and shit like that. And whatever the fuck. And I'm a spar. Bro. Bro, they go to spars there. Mm, okay, all right. <laughs> hey, Bavana, tell him I was doing good when I was doing good. Yeah, he was good. So man. what was that, the first run? Yeah, yeah. It was like the first, like, I got, he was up to like, bro, you just good. good. He's good, he just, he punches himself out, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but that boy's a Zab Judah yeah, of yeah. Spawn. I just there do, you go, there you go, Zab, Zab Judah. Judah. Nigga, I just do burst, nigga, but yeah. then by that third round, yeah. I was like, Beyonce, nigga. It's a dead yeah. body right there. It's a dead body. <laughs> I did what I came to do. <laughs> Take them off. Yeah, you some pretty good shots. <laughs> I swear to God, nigga. Yeah, I didn't want <laughs> Vinez, how you get hooked up with Snack, man? Talk to us, man. Tell them to fuck with the podcast, bro. Snack Victor Conti, man. It's the best, you know what I mean? As, as you see, this is this, this the best supplements, man. I'll talk to Victor, you know what I mean? And and we'll get you guys some Snack. Bro, bro we need Snack, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. We need that. Bro, snack system, baby. Bro, all, the, all our uh, people that watch this podcast, like, hey, y'all fit. We need to stay fit. And we be like, shout out to Snack. We ain't take shit yet. <laughs> Not one supplement, but we just like shout them out. We, well, don't say that, brother. Hey, bro, we, we, it's, we just manifested. That's why I, I like that. Yeah. That was that's a smooth true. finesse of appreciate the finesse. It. Thank you. Appreciate that, brother. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Speaking of finesse, man. Um... 
Yeah, I'm in the hot seat, yeah. boy. <laughs> Got me in the hot. We gonna have a real good conversation. No. <laughs> I just got released from Don King October 10th. Shout out to a brother getting free. Yeah, man. Been in boxing jail for like two years, man. Two years with them. Um, mm. Looking at some couple managers. I got an offer to go to Dubai to fight over there, but I can't move over there right now, man. Um, just talking to a couple of people, man. We'll see. We'll take it. We'll see where it goes. Okay. You know what I mean? For sure. For sure, for sure. All right. Well, shit, we got to get up, up out of here. Did you ever fight Jake Paul alone? Wait, 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 wait. I bought right there, man. I'm chaining him. He'll take, he'll take one of them, man. It's Jake Paul, Jake Paul, fighters, Jake Paul, yeah. and wait, you MMA fighter? Nah, he boxed. Oh, he boxes? Oh, yeah, he's one of my fighters. Uh, I'll be training Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got your own promotional he, he company? No, nah, just you know, a couple of people I train. You know oh, I mean? okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. We're, we're trying to do like some, uh, some cutting weight podcast tournaments where we could just like uh, have like some boxers in there. And oh, then you, yeah. yeah, and then we just like, you fight some on the podcast. Yeah, shit. yeah, some TikTokers and just yeah. fight on the podcast, get one round off. <laughs> And you go up against Jamar, and if you pass yeah, him, yeah, why yeah, you yeah, always trying to come with your thoughts? No, I'm not trying to say that, bro. One round, that's where you, that's where you get it. Just one round. All right. Nigga, I'll be the king of one round. One round is what you. Why? Why? Fat Joe nephew. Yeah. All right, look, Christian, you got you got your own podcast called Pass for Us. Explain to the weight cutters and babies what that's about and where can they find it. Awesome. So you can check out Pass for Us on Instagram. You can check out Pass for Us on YouTube. By the time this come out, it will be on SoundCloud as well and several other platforms. But Pass for Us, it was a... Uh, God told me to do it. It started out as a nonprofit organization where we go into inner city urban environments and explain to the youth on the many different ways to enter the entertainment industry. Like, as we're having a conversation right now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people behind the camera. And every single one of these people have a very vital assignment to make sure that this 30 minute, 40 minute, however long this episode is, episode looks amazing and immaculate. If you go watch a movie, you see the 500 names on the screen. Nobody really knows what these people do. I leave. <laughs> 99.9% of people do, though, right? This is more But a lot of those people are extremely successful, right? So we explain to people, for example, like when I have you on the, on the podcast, you're going to explain to everyone who you are, what you've done if they don't know already, how you got to where you are, and then practical steps that they can actually take to get to where you are, mistakes you've made, wins you've gained, etc. So that's what it's about explaining to people in, a, in, 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 in environments that never would even think to enter the entertainment industry, right? And tell them that many different places, like from acting to directing to producing to casting to comedian to an editor to a sound tech to a director to grip to lighting and, and keeping it real with them and saying, you know, the, the trials and tribulations they face, how they got to where they are and what they would recommend to get to where they are. And that's what Pass for Us is about, education. I like that. And yeah, I like how cool. you just invited me live on, yeah, uh, pull up. on the podcast. Yeah, we're going to have a peaceful, <laughs> a I peaceful love, conversation. I love, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love like, how you just yeah. tapped me. Uh -huh. You have to be on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> The Suge Nut invite, but I'm nah, with it. Nah, 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 that's a nice dope. I, I saw like the little clips, like the minute clip of you have like a directors on there. Uh -huh. You have our girl, what was it Terry Terry? Uh, Terry J. Vaughn. Terry J. Vaughn. Legend, I appreciate. Man, you so have much. like up and coming actors. You have mm -hmm. guys who work in the camera. So you saw it? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, why you even share it, bro? I, what do you mean? I, I support my friends. What are you talking? Man, whatever. <laughs> no, I appreciate God damn, brother. <laughs> 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 These guests, brother, in this new, this new environment, ain't hey, hey. It's real, right? It's real. Nah, That's nah, funny. we appreciate you. Nah, Vines, tell them where about your like your fighters. Tell them about your, your fights. Where can they find you? Talk all that cap. Right now, you know, I'm just on a comeback, man. Like I said, I've been in jail for like the last couple of years, boxing jail. You know what I mean? I just got released. You know what I mean? Just started training back in the gym. Yeah. And you know, you'll hear some fight news coming up soon, man. They're looking at December 10, maybe. They offered me a fight there, like a tuna fight. Well, wait. But uh, 154, man. That's mm, my weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that division is wide open, bro. Yeah, man. My, my main goal there, man, get a couple of fights and maybe go after Charlo again. You know what I mean? Get you, the you, you want Charlo. You want Charlo yeah, 100%, bad. 100%, dog. You know that. Yeah, yeah you man. want Charlo bad, bro. Fight, yeah. I, I love how... Ooh. 
That's gonna that's be a good room. fight. Yeah, you you had him every, yeah. like you beat him to every punch of that fight. So I'm rooting for that. Yeah. I definitely, got, I want to excited to see you back in the ring. This guy can throw hands. Got a mean right hand. All right, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for you know coming to the enterprise. I appreciate y'all, man. Fine yeah, ass and Christian Robinson, man. Thank you guys. Thank y'all so much.